Ah, shit, here they come. Another glowing flower.
I don't think we've met. I know. I am Vizel, the Traveler. You are the so-called Ulugai. Something like that. Where are you traveling to? Travel has become tricky on Adelpha. I don't know if you've heard, but there's an invasion going on. You don't say. Are you here about the Orim Trails? I know everything about them. What are you doing here? Thinking about the past, mostly. I wanted to find every Orim Trail on Adelpha. But then the invaders came. What a shame. I owed Orim that much. Orim trails, huh? What are they? I named these plants after my partner, Orim. We used to travel together, but Orim reverted on a dangerous trail near Palana. Orim and I have been documenting these trails since we were young lovers, freshly out of Kizar. They are fascinating plants. Did you know you can find them across the whole planet? So that's it? You were just writing about them? Like studying them, or...? Oh, no. Orim and I, we didn't receive an education in Procreana and all that. We used to live off the Helidium trade, you see? You can collect Helidium at the end of each trail, so we started to travel everywhere we could find them. Became quite the experts. So, what are you doing up here? Orem's Hazardous took possession of this lighthouse, so I can have a better view of the trails. I'm sad we will never finish what we started together. Care if I pick up where you left off? Please do. That would be a blessing from the yards. Report back to me once in a while. I want to know everything about the trails you find. Didn't know Helidium could grow out of plants. You found new Aurum trails? Great! Some are quite challenging, aren't they? <laughs> Don't forget to keep me in the loop. This is gonna hurt.
Okay, another Gorg eruption. Hold your breath. are immune to the Gork. I'm Cutter Slade. Good for you. And you are? Oh, I, I actually didn't understand what you just told me. I'm a merchant. We're supposed to be polite with the clients. Slade is my name. Very nice. I'm Kartak. I raise and sell Twanhas. See you next moon. Okay, beast, don't mess with me. They're locked on to me. Okay, they all want to play. Weapon module, nice.
pipe could be a way out. one of the worm trails. There's free helium nearby. the reward. and try it. Check. Just like that. Thank you. 
Hey, Marzo. About that convoy. You had one job. Protect the convoy, protect the lamp peg. What the sort happened? The giant worm happened. What am I supposed to do? Have you seen the size of that thing? I don't know what you did, but you managed to attract the Alpha Garandar. It's never been seen around these parts before. Now I gotta start the brewing process from scratch. God damn! Hey, at least no one got hurt. Oh, I got hurt, friend. That was my biggest shipment this cycle, and the damn Alpha Garandar drank it all. Uh, she didn't even drink it. She spit everything out. And that's the saddest part. The Alpha Garandar, as you call it, ate a crazy amount of bomb bars. Ozak must be mad as hell. We both lost a fortune in that accident. I heard Ozak's Twanha took a hike, too. Poor bond bar boy. Tell me about Zalab. He's the Shamaz of Sapa. Quite a character. He's got a little group called the Ventilope Club. I hope Zalab understands the delays and will still pay the whole Zorkin's amount. With the current economy, I can't offer a discount. I messed up the shipment. I get it. Let me help in some other way. I won't mop the floor or clean the toilets, but... I already got my son doing that. Don't need you messing up his routine. You can help me gather a few ingredients for the next batch. Do that, and we're square. Right. Tell me what you need. Mirko has the list. Talk to him, and he'll give you the details. But bring every ingredient straight to me. They'll probably use it for some science experiment. I can't afford that. Bye. So long, stranger. <laughs> nope, it's full. calls the shots around here? I am Hiron, Chief of Bida. But you got the wrong information, stranger. We don't drink Lampe in shots. Lampe is best served in a pint, cold as the Palana snow. Who are you? I'm Cutter Slade. I was told that your village needs help. How are you guys holding up? A cold drink of Lampe smooths away the rough edges. Things could be worse, things could be better. Spoken like a true politician. So, seriously, what is Lampe? Lampe is the finest drink in Adelpha. It's the reason I wake up every afternoon. So that makes you an afternoon-only chief? Part-time job? Are you a little wasted right now? No, I am the chief after all. But tonight I will drink and sing. Lampe makes you sing better than the Almayel and sleep sounder than a reverted Talan. You want some? We have discounts for new customers. Are you a chief or a salesman? My role is to sell more Lampe than I consume. Bida's economy depends on it. Sorry about that giant Lampe puddle. I mean, Lampe Lake or whatever. I blame the Alpha Garondar. Have you seen the size of it? Immense. We must defeat this foul and probably very drunk creature considering the amount of Lampe it swallowed. It's good advice. Let's organize a Worm Anonymous meeting as a trap. And as soon as it shows its ugly head, boom. Huh? <laughs> but I digress. Back to Lampe. Is there any left? Ask Marzo. He keeps the scrolls in order. About Bon Bars. Look, I am in the process of rejuvenating my essence, and words use energy. Talk to Ozak about Bon Bars. He's not called a Bon Bar boy because of his Tuan Ha. Where are the invaders? Outside town, drilling stations. So the village is safe? Hardly. All the drilling brings the Garondars to the surface towards us. Goddamn creatures never used to roam these lands. Good thing that the village is preserved for some reason. You know why? I'm the mouth that sells, not the brain that overthinks what it cannot influence. 
Mirko tried to explain it to me over a pint of lampe last night. But hey, I don't think at night. I party. What's a Garandar? A devouring beast living below us. I figured that much. Any other details you want to share, Chief? Watch your step. When a Garandar surfaces, Bonbars are eaten and Talans revert. Garandars hate the taste of lampe. How about that? Good for us. But they discovered the taste of Bonbar meat and love it more and more. Ozak is losing his herd. He should bring that herd back to Beda. Garandars don't surface in the village. I'm busy here. Maybe you can help Ozak. Quit the maybes, you know I can. What's the village of Beda famous for? What planet did you fall from? Lanpei, of course. We have pretty decent Tuan Ha's, too, but they don't drive Beda's economy. How come the other villages don't produce Lanpei? Our water is exceptional. You can't make Lanpei without exceptional water. Are you guys also selling water? Selling water? You mean in, in a moo? Who would be stupid enough to buy bottled water? You got a point there. But don't discard the idea just yet. It's a potential gold mine. I'm looking to acquire a shipment of Lampe. Lampe, good. Can you help me? I don't deal with the Zorkins. I'm the marketing guy. Talk to Marzo if you want to make a purchase. Later, Chief. Farewell. Hey there. Have you come to Torga for healing? Can you tell me who you are again? Most certainly. I am Torga, Shamaza Bida. How would you describe a bond bar? That's a funny question. It reminds me of the fairy tale about this little Shamaz that visits a moon and... Well, I, I don't remember the details, but at some point someone asks him, Draw me a bond bar. And, uh, you know, I, mean, I forget how it ends. Still have the scroll somewhere. Borrowed it from Procriana's library before the invasion. It's called the Little Shamaz. I'm gonna shut down the invaders' bases one by one. Mm. By bases, I figure you mean their drilling stations. To get to the drilling stations, you need to dodge the Garanders, so good luck with that. I think I need a shamas. I don't feel so good. May the yards heal your wounds. Peace out, Torka. Peace out, peace in. <laughs> peace all around. Whoa. Hey, kid. Uh, newsflash, I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. But if you see me as a kid, you probably have a problem with your eyes. Let's test your ears now. The name's Mirko. So, what's my name? Um, Mirko? Bingo! It's just the eyes, then. Now, on with the mandatory speech. Welcome to the brewery. What brings you to Bida? What are the invaders drilling for? Well, I have a theory, but it's too dangerous for me to even go near the drilling stations to confirm it. So, you know, maybe we'll just never know because this village isn't interested in knowledge. It's interested in Lampe. Do you know what Lampe does to your brain? It's like I'm helping my dad brew an anti-knowledge potion. Say I would be interested in verifying your theory. Should I put my ass on the line and go out there? Your ass? Why? No, I don't want you to put your ass anywhere. But if you're half as curious as I am, you could look inside one of their drill pits and maybe bring me whatever you find. And why would I do that? My theory, dude. I'm smart. I want to do something with my life, but I can't do much with this broom in my hand. If you help me prove it, I promise you'll have something to use against the invaders. You're a fighter. I can tell. 
So, what's your theory? I don't want to blow your mind quite yet. If you find anything interesting in the drill pits, I would be thrilled to examine it. It's up to you. What are you up to? Well, you see, I should be at Procriana University right now, studying scrolls, living that canoe life. You know how it goes. But the invaders dropped bombs on my campus, so I'm here, sweeping floors for my dad. That's what you call a major bummer. You're gonna use the Daoka, now that it's back on? The university is closed. Half of the Dano library is burnt to cinders. Where am I gonna go? Besides, my father wants me to waste my life away in this boring brewery. What can you tell me about the invaders? Well, they don't mess with our village, which is a plus. I like being alive and all. But they want something underneath us, in the ground. And their drillings messing up the Garandar's orientation. Garandars around Beda are the opposite of a plus. I found this white stone in the drill pits. It's light as a feather, and it emits a familiar glow. What do you think? Oh, wow, yes! Yes! This must be it! Oh, I keep telling people there's white helidium on this continent, but no one believes me. But this is proof. My anti-gravity theory is accurate. You're Andy what now? Gravity is an advanced concept I could try to teach you, but you wouldn't understand. I know what gravity is. Don't ask me for the formula, though. Forgot everything they taught me in high school. And high school, actually. All right, all right. So stay with me. I'm going to use big words. Garondars live so deep underground that the pressure of the Earth would crush them flat. But they don't get crushed. Why? Because they emit an anti-gravity field. I'm not sure how they generate it, but it has to do with eating these rocks, white helidium. That's what the invaders are drilling for. They want to harness its power. How do you know all that? I read a ton of scrolls. You know, you, you, you said if I helped prove your theory, we'd have the power to fight the invaders. I hope you don't want me to eat this rock. No, although that would be pretty hilarious. This leads me to my other theory, which is you can train a Garondar to attack invaders instead of Bonbars. I told your dad I'd help with Lampe ingredients. Do you have some kind of list for me? Hmm, let me see. What are we missing? We are running out of Morags. The Tvonha Gru levels are pretty low. And we could use more pistols? Where can I find Morags? You can only find more eggs in the village of Emiya. It's a special fruit. Adds a touch of luxury to an otherwise cheap beverage. I have to ask about the Twanha drool. Really? It's the sticky stuff that drips from the dumb animal's mouth. Mm, it's more about how to collect it. <laughs> it's, it's not like you have to use your bare hands. Oh, good. You know, for a second there, I thought... <laughs> Use these containers instead. Attach them to the mouth of the Tvonha, and don't come back until it's completely full. Kartak can help you with that. Where can I find pistols? You can't miss them. Go to the large root on the hill. You have to open its flowers and catch the pistols inside real quick before they close again. This is new. What do you know about Garandars? Well, there's the obvious. Huge worms. Extremely dangerous, too. But... And the less obvious part, please. They're like me. They're misunderstood. They're not coming to the surface to eat us. They're just trying to get away from the underground drilling. It's hurting their little worm ears. Well, huge worm ears. Actually, I'm not sure how big their ears are. They haven't attacked the village? No, and I found out why. There's a very small life form in our water supply that's toxic to Garon bars, but harmless to you or me. Well, I don't know about you. We should test that later. How did you find that out? Dude, I told you. 
I'm the only Talan in Bida besides Torga who went to Procriana University. I've got a brain. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. <laughs> I only like hockey when I'm the smartest guy in the room. Not liking it now. I'm wreaking serious havoc on the drilling stations. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, if you clear all three stations, I can send my guy to collect the white halidium. He's too scared to travel right now. Freaking Dorondars are everywhere. There must be a way to avoid them. I mean, some people here have left the village and come back in one piece. Mm, you have a point. Even Torga was traveling lately. He fixed Ozak's broken leg right out there in the fields. That's surprising considering his Garondophobia and all. Garondophobia? Funny word. That's not funny. Torga was petrified. Maybe you should talk to him and understand how he overcame it. I would go myself, but my father needs the toilet cleaned ASAP. He's expecting a big buyer, he said. Not sure if I should believe him or not, but hey, he's the Talon of the house, so I clean where he wants me to clean. Yeah, I feel you. Training Garandars. I'm listening. I've conducted experiments with Tvonhas. You know, the one where you hold a hottie in front of them and they start salivating? Pavlov would be proud. Go on. Garandars are no different. If you manage to trigger a reflex, they won't salivate, but they should show up at the precise location of the stimuli. Hold on. Why would I summon a Garandar that wants to eat me? Once trained, you won't have to fight it. I will calibrate the beacon so the Garandar doesn't surface, but comes close enough so that you can benefit from its anti-gravity field in combat. If you train more than one Garandar the same way, it will only make the effect stronger. This might actually work. What do you need to make this happen? I already mapped out everything in a scroll. See? We could use fey fruits to create a vibration, okay? And that vibration will attract a garondar. The scent of meat, say, gamor meat, will make it surface. If we shoot white halidium directly into the garondar's mouth when it surfaces, it's like a reward. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm no pitcher. There's no way I could throw a rock into the mouth of a moving garondar. But you know how to shoot a gun, right? We just need to manufacture a training beacon that contains the necessary ingredients. Looks like you have everything figured out. I'm in. Where can I find fey fruits? They grow on the fey tree southeast of Bida, but I can handle that. Just focus on the two other components. It'll be faster if we split the work like we're on a team. Cool, right? See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Are you sorry? Torga, can I have a word? Can you have a word? Uh... To hold in your hand? It's a figure of... <laughs> Forget it. Mirko said you're not suffering from garondophobia anymore. Oh, yachts, no. This is old news. Really? What made you change your mind? Well, 50% was courage. I feel much braver now. And the other half? Lampe. I found my confidence in a barrel of Lampe. In a pool of Lampe, I should say. <laughs> That's a lot of drinking to find the courage to travel. Oh, yes. Many, many, many drinks. <laughs> I became fully confident, but no longer could walk in a straight line. I stumbled and fell straight into the pool of Lampe left after the Alpha Garandor accident. I climbed out of the pond completely soaked, and then... It happened. What happened? I started to feel like I was floating. I told myself, Torga, you're not floating, you are drunk. Your feet are on the ground, look. So I looked, and I was not on the ground. I was trapped in the anti-gravity field of a Garandar who burst through the ground and was towering above me. Wow, really? How did you survive? 
I believe that Lampe saved me. Gowrinders love the smell of bond bars, but hate the smell of Lampe. And that extends to anything or anyone that touches it. Hmm, interesting theory. It's more than a theory. I'm bathing in that pond every moon, and it truly works. No Garandor will come near me. <laughs> I suggest you convince Ozak to try it with a bond bar so you can see I'm right. Peace out, Torka. Peace out, peace in. <laughs> peace all around. So, what's up? Did you tell my son to go on some kind of adventure? Whoa, hold on. Mirko just went to collect some fruit. We're working on something. Some fruit? He's my son. And more importantly, my assistant. Not your goddamned assistant, mine. He's supposed to be working for me. Did he tell you where he was going? I think he mentioned a fey tree. I used to go there when I was young, but things have changed. It's crawling with gamors now. I have to go get him. <laughs> Wait, this is my fault. You stay here, I'll get him back. Can you still brew Lampe without Mirko? Not really. I need his help. Then maybe hire someone else? Someone who would actually enjoy working in the brewery? This is a family business, and Mirko is my only son. See you next moon.
Howdy, cowboy. Not sure what a cow is, mister, but I know bombars, and I'm a bombar boy. Ozak is my name. Hey, Ozak. I'm Cutter Slade. What do you do with the bombars? Walk them around the pastures, feed them so they grow fat and suitable for market. A good-sized bombar gives you a ton of meat, ton of wool. You can turn their horns into, I don't know, horn-based stuff, like drinking horns? Everything's good on the bombar. I'd eat their brain, if only they had one. <laughs> My father used to tell me the same thing. Seems you're doing just fine the way you are. I'm not doing fine without Scoot. My bombars are scattered everywhere. And with all the Garandars around, I'm afraid I'd lose them for good. Tell me about Scoot. Scoot's the Twanha I ride. Or the Twanha I used to ride. <laughs> he was a wild breed. Took me moons to tame that bastard. He was my best friend, too. Not the best listener, but, you know, I'm not either. Ah, uh, well, sorry for your loss. Oh, he ain't met with the odds just yet. He ran away. So much for being best friends, huh? Yod damn Garandar. Scoot got spooked and took off. I'm telling you, Scoot was like the Bombar Whisperer. I think I heard enough about Scoot. I'm speaking the truth. When I'm riding Scoot, the Bombar respect me. They're easy to hurt, but without Scoot, they don't give two zorts about poor old Ozak. If you find Scoot out there, mister, can you bring him back to me? I'll make it worth your while. Call him by his name. Go like this. Scoot, come here. Why would Scoot listen to me? Take this gui. It's a cloth doused with the scent of Scoot's mother. Scoot loves his gui even more than he loves Hote. Put the cloth under his snout and he'll listen to you. What do you know about Garondars? I know I hate those sons of Zorts. They are my nemesis. Giant worms that live in the ground and gobbled up my fellow Bombar boys like they were candy. They even tried to eat Scoot, but they spit him back out. No one likes the taste of Twanhaas. You ever get a good look at the drilling stations? Never gone near him. Too far. My place is here with the Bombars. Anyway, Mirko at the brewery, he said the Twanhas can't stomach long-distance trips because, well, there is a reason that I forgot. It's better than most places, I guess, but I lost a lot of friends recently to the Gaurandars. Are you scared of the invaders? Can't be scared of what I've never seen. Lampe put me to sleep one night. They came in, broke the Daoka, and they were out when I woke up. What are you up to? I'm pushing a herd of bomb bars that way. Then later, I push it back this way. Circle of life. This particular herd of bomb bars are the most stubborn creatures I ever met. After Scoot. You got a problem with your herd? You can call it a communication breakdown. I tell Scoot what to do, and then Scoot tells the Bombars. Otherwise, they don't listen to me. How hard can it be? They're just Bombars. It's always a hustle to herd them back to the pen. Scoot is a good assistant, but I wouldn't say no to a couple of helping hands like yours, especially with the Garandars lurking on my herd. Less bombars outside of the pen means less Garandars attacking our perimeter. All right. All I have to do is lead them back to the pen, then? It ain't that easy, mister. You'll see. You want to keep the Garandars away from your bombars? Torga's got a theory so crazy it just might work. I don't do well with theories, mister. I'm a practical to love. Then call it an experiment. Now listen. Garandars are allergic to Lampe, okay? So Torga's been taking Lampe baths to cure his Garandophobia. Bless you! 
to cure his garandophobia. Bless you again. Ah, uh, garandophobia? You know what they say. Third time's a charm. Right. Long story short, the Alpha Garandar vomited up a big pool of the stuff. If you soak your herd in the Lampe, they'll be safer from every killer worm from here to Kizar. You know, that sounds so crazy. It just my work. Ah, uh, that's my line. Hey, should we try this now? You there? I hear you. Is everything all right? You ever had to hurt bond bars? <laughs> Females do not concern themselves with the herding of bond bars. They are too busy running the planet. Figure as much. My former Navy unit could see me out. They'd have a good laugh. As long as the bond bars stay safe in their pen, the Garondars won't attack. It's important work, Ulukai. Adding this to my resume. Then. Talk later, Lias.
Okay. Back in the pen. Cutter Slade, you are the man. This whole Bonbar boy thing is exhausting. Phew, I got the Bombars in the pen. You're good at this. Can you ride a Twan Ha? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if I can. I don't want to. Okay. For a second there, I thought you'd make a great Bombar boy. Yeah, I'd rather eat my gun, but thanks, pal. Nothing wrong with eating your gun, buddy, but it might hurt on the way out. Bombar boys don't carry weapons, though, so... Heck, even eating it, you'd still qualify for the job. So long, cowboy. Don't know what that is, but y'all bless you, buddy.
Things coming for you. Underground creatures can't get me out here. Why don't you move this way? No, not that way. Listen to your buddy Ozak. Hey, where are you going? Come and look. Oh, ouch. What? Who's there? Scoot? Is that you? Scoot! Come here, boy! 
I'm so happy to see you! <laughs> it's working. As long as a bombar reeks of lampe, Garandars will stay away from it. Woo! A simple talon like me could never come up with something so inspired, but there's not enough lampe in that bond to keep this plan rolling very long. Their wool absorbs the liquid pretty fast. I'll talk to Marzo and make sure that the pond gets refilled. Good luck with that. I'll get back to work. Are you happy Scoot's back? Ooh, yes! I sure missed my partner. Now I'm back to herding the bombars like a good bombar boy should. Thank you. Happy to help, Ozak. So long, cowboy. Don't know what that is, but y'all bless you, buddy.
That's more than welcome. Hey, Marzo. Got any lampy to spare? If you're buying, I'm selling. Bye. So long, stranger. Hi, Torga. Good moon. Congrats, my Shimaz friend. You saved the bomb bars. The Lampe experiment is working wonders, and Ozak is thrilled. Oh, Yod. Every time Ozak is too excited, he ends up in a ditch with a couple of broken bones. I've never healed someone more often than this reckless bomb bar boy. What will it be this time? I have to go. Hey, Kartak. You again. Mirko gave me these containers to collect the drool of the Twanhaas. It's easy. Look. Ugh. Okay. Hey, Kartak. You again. Did you sell Scoot to Ozak? I did. One moon, the sneaky animal was eating my stash of Hody. So he chased it away. 
Ozak heard me scream, don't touch those, scoot. And he thought I was calling the Twan Ha, scoot. He fell in love with that beast on the spot. Tried to explain to him the word came from an old Aga Common expression I heard once, but this was too much information for a Bon Bar boy's brain. He still called it scoot. That's funny. The Twan Ha is confused when Ozak calls its name. It can react impulsively. Made the Bombard boy fall on his ass more than once. Torga became very busy healing Ozak every couple of moons. See you next moon. Should have everything he needs to brew Lampe now. Anybody there? Hello? It's me, Mirko. It's safe to come down now. Yes! Oh, yachts! I owe you one. Okay, watch out when you... Climb down. Ow! Oh, I think I need a shamas. Let's get you back to the village. Did you get the stuff you came for? Yes. I have enough fey fruits for now. Let's go back to the brewery before my father freaks out.
spotted me. Okay, they all want to play.
coming for me.
Our birdie is singing her love song in the enclosure. At least I think she is. I'm more of a metalhead myself. You have a head of metal. Like the invaders. No, I mean... <laughs> forget it. Got the female ventilo for you. Bless the yachts. Thank you. I better get ready. Males are probably circling the village as we speak. The ventilope will bring life back to Sapa. What does it take to tame one of those giant cuckoos? It's all in the moves. I'm so glad I took those dance lessons in Kizar as a young Talan. Everything peachy with a female? I don't know what you mean, but she is already producing ventilope oil. That was fast. What can you tell me about ventilope oil? The females produce it. During mating season, male ventilopes smell it on the females from far away and they come running, or flying, actually. Have a look inside ventilope nests or in the pen where the female is active. You'll find some there. Is it easy to spot a ventilope nest? Yes, they're visible. And you'll certainly find some around Sapa. But if it's ventilope oil you're after, you can also check my pen when a female is inside. We're in the middle of mating season. You might be in luck. See ya. Looking good. Where can I find ventilope oil? Hmm, good question. I'm more of a fish oil expert. Did you know fish oil is perfect for protecting your skin against moon rays during the high season? But it doesn't smell great. It scares the females away during Olkastak. Not answering my question. Oh, sorry. Ventilope females secrete the oil during reproduction, but that's the extent of my knowledge. Yuna Ear could tell you more about it. Good talking to you, Bram. Same here. Diving in. The Gamors are dead meat. There's a lot of red meat, actually. But I figured you guys are more into fish, so... That's some fantastic and disgusting news. Good shooting, stranger. This buys our village a little time. You mean these beasts are coming back? What's your long-term strategy, Chief? I don't plan on camping around. Ventilopes can chase the Gamors away. We just need to tame more Ventilopes. And by we, I mean our beast tamer. What do you think about the invaders? What do I think? Well, they reverted my brother and deactivated our Taoka. So, not their biggest fan. But <laughs> if you want a good, hateful tirade against the invaders, or anyone in fact, you should see Zaleb. What can you tell me about Zaleb? Oh, you want to sit and chat with the chief, huh? Discuss the personal life of every single one of my people while sipping on Lampe? And snacking on grilled Senegda? Fine. But only after you deal with our Gamora problem. Please? I've already done that, so... What's the relationship between Unair and Zalop? Well, have you heard about the Ventilo Club? Ventilo Club? VC for short. They're a group of Talan who want to preserve the local Ventilo population. The creatures are dying out, you see. The club is comprised of our Shama, Zaleb, and our beast tamer, Unair. I guess you can't really call two Talan a group. More like a duo, right? Indeed. What do you want me to aim at? The Gamors. Mating season's over and they're hungry, of course. So they're coming back to Sapa to feast on us. Can you get rid of them? I've already done that, so... I'll come back later. Ran 
of storage. Spiders. Essence shrine. Check. Just like that. Slade.
potion. Hi, Marzo. Mirko came back with fey fruits, which are extremely dangerous. You sure you guys know what you're doing? I'm putting all my trust in your son. He's the brains of the operation. Don't blow up anything, okay? I think your son could use a little dad time. Mirko is fine. Some Talons would revert to get to spend their quality time in a brewery. What more could he hope for? Hey, I don't want to overstep my bounds here, but just... Talk to him more. Or, no, better yet. Listen, okay? Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, Lampe's not gonna brew itself. Mirko's no safer in Bida than anywhere else on this planet. You have to let him go so he can follow his own path. And become a recreator in Procreana? Are you insane? The invaders are hunting recreators for sport. There's no way I'm letting my son revert for some stupid dream. He could be a big help to the cause. What cause? 
My only cause is Lampe, and Mirko is a big help with making Lampe. My. So long, stranger. Hey, partner. Two male Talans living together are partners. You and I just got acquainted. Right. I also prefer we keep things at the business level. I'm not the one who started hitting on you. You're gonna be proud of me, Chief. After a ton of struggle and a few near-death encounters, I helped Marzo brew a fresh batch of Lampe. Helping Marzo is Mirko's job. If you're looking to help, you can split my chief duties. Do you want to take mornings? I'll stick to afternoons if you don't mind. Um, uh, no thank you. Later, Chief. Farewell. Mirko, do this. Mirko, do that. Mirko, come here. Mirko... Oh, hey! How are you? Are you gonna manufacture the Garandar beacon? Uh, no. We need the skills of an expert maker. A recreator. They all got reverted during the Procuriana attack, but I heard rumors of survivors. Take these plants. If you find a recreator, you'll need the plants to create the beacon. Once you get it, come back to me and we'll figure out a way to train one of those yacht damn Garandars. If only I had some kind of gun to shoot the beacon. It's a big world out there, dude. You'll find something. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Slay to Liaz. I'm in Beda, and I got news. Yes, Ulukai? My friend Mirko here came up with a device that can unleash Garandars on our enemies. Very impressive. But Mirko, you say? Never heard of him. Who is he? He's a son of Marzo. Young. Smart as a whip. A brewer's son with those kinds of skills. Interesting. Yeah. The, uh, the kid wanted to become a recreator before shit hit the fan. He's pretty good. You should meet him sometime. I need a device to shoot a beacon, like a slingshot or, I don't know, something. I think I've seen something like this in the Ulukai Museum of Procriana. The Ulukai Museum? Seriously. Go have a look. I have to go now. Lia's out. Here they come.
collect them all. Flock of killer birds, just what I need. Slash should open that place. Here they come. Hey, let's stuff our hands in that gorky thing. It'll be fun, said no one ever.
pulling latrine duty. So many hours on latrine duty. I can trade Gork for Zorkins in Emiya. It should be my next destination. Flock of killer birds, just what I need. Brought the whole battalion, huh? Essence Shrine. Good old Slade's gonna catch that flying essence.
Let's open this thing. I see you. Think I'm going the wrong way. A good splash should open that plan. 